Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the ARC character that I told you guys I was going to play for the uh, Mayhem race. Now, uh, this is in Solo Self Found Hardcore, like you can see right up here. Or sorry, not Mayhem, Flashback. Um, so I'm just going to go over my links really quickly. Everything is pretty much a carbon copy of the video that I showed. So um, the idea is to pretty much stack cast speed while you're leveling. It makes a huge difference. Um, since you really want cast speed for lightning, so you can see I've got like cast speed implicit on both of my wands uh, with cast speed suffixes along with cast speed on ring number one and ring number two cast speed on my amulet that was beast crafted just a helmet that was beast crafted um, Just a shitty chest piece is basically the same gear um, and then I've got spell echo arc and control destruction inside of three link and that's pretty much about it so I want to go ahead and show you guys against Katava because I feel that's a pretty fair fight. Now Ark lacks big time when it comes to single target. Um, so what you're going to see is like the worst of the worst on my character. I recommend for you to just use Storm Call for these fights because Katava doesn't move. So you can just aim all of your Storm Calls in the same spot uh, right underneath Katava and you're pretty much good to go. Now one other thing to note is I'm using a curse called Conductivity which you can see here that lowers their lightning resistance. I have it supported with Increased Duration and with Arcane Surge. I've got my Arcane Surge stopped at level 8, and the reason why I have it at that level is you pretty much just want to get it to a level where you can cast your Curse one time, it spends enough mana to proc Arcane Surge, and it curses the target at the same time. And I just have Lightning Warp right now with Reduced Duration, this isn't even with Faster Casting yet. I should have paid attention to that, because that could have been really spooky. Oh, what was that? Orb of Regret? Hello, Katava. Let's just go get some flash charges before we start this. Now, I don't really like Katava fights. I like having a lot of room to kite. It's the opposite of what you get in this spot. <laughs> I'll do my best for you guys, though. Please be bubbling or seething. Feels bad. It's really important on the Katava fight to pay attention to where that blast is. So we're just going to keep summoning our decoy totem from corner to corner to help with this. And then just remember to keep applying your curse so that you have your arcane surge buff. Now I'm running Wrath and Herald of Thunder. It's not really efficient when it comes to your mana pool since we're playing a mind over matter character. But I feel pretty confident that I'm not going to die, and that's why I'm running Wrath. We will be dropping Wrath later on, though. Okay, so let's re-decoy Totem here. He's going to try to spack us. Okay, good. I'm going to warp to the other side. Decoy Totem and swap. And I'm just going to take a quick portal when this flies in to get my Onslaught Flask. And then one more time really fast. I don't remember if that's the end of the fight or not. 
Uh, that's scary. Oh, well, that's actually done. Is it really done already? Yeah, okay, the fight's already done. So that's the Katava fight. Wasn't really too difficult. Uh, Decoy Totem definitely makes a really, uh, a really big difference on this fight. But anyway, to give you guys a few tips, since this character is in Solo Self Found, I want to show you guys some of the tricks that I use to kind of get my character to where he is. Because gearing yourself is very important if you're playing a skill like Arc that isn't just, you know, overpowered right off the bat. So the first thing to note is your weapons. And it's important to cover the weapons because, I mean, that's like the bread and butter of your character, right? So, what I highly recommend you guys to do is look for a three-link wand. Um, I recommend wands because wands roll uh, cast speed. I guess scepters can roll. Uh, anyway, I went with wands. I guess you can use scepters realistically. So, um, and then once you can get pagans, pagans have cast speed implicit, which is, in my opinion, like crazy. So... Let's go ahead and use this Pagan one as an example. Now there's a recipe that you're going to have to learn to really like, and I would recommend stocking up on these Topaz rings so that you can recycle the recipe. So, this weapon here has plus one lightning and it has a 13% cast speed roll. That cast speed roll is very strong. That could be stronger than a rare weapon that you just randomly identify. In fact, it probably is stronger because of the plus one and the cast speed. So to acquire something like that without RNG, I mean, it is kind of RNG, but let me show you a little example. So you're going to use an alteration with, um, with some topaz rings. And you're going to make sure that the item is at least magic. So this is now a magic item. If you vendor it with a topaz and an alteration, respectively, if you use a ruby and or a sapphire, it'll go cold or fire, you will get plus one lightning. Plus one lightning is a prefix. If you hold alt and you enable the additional information in the stat or the uh, settings, you can see it. Um, it's a prefix, which means you still have an open suffix. Cast, <clears throat> cast speed is an open suffix. So what I did is I got a three link and basically anytime I'd find uh, topaz rings, I would just do the recipe again because you can't fuck it up. You always get plus one lightning. So then you would just go ahead and slam an augment and you would hope for something good. Since this rolled accuracy, this doesn't help me. So what would I do? You just put it back inside, you do the exact same thing, you get your plus one back, and you go again. Sometimes the implicit will actually go down, but because you're using Pagans, Pagan can only roll 10% cast speed. So it never changes the cast speed. And you can just keep on doing the exact same thing until you hit a cast speed roll. Um, and that honestly has gotten my character to where it is now, and it's pretty strong. Uh, other than that, I haven't really come up with too many tips uh, or like, things i do pick up a lot of blue two stone rings and identify them mainly because if you get like cast speed in life that's super solid and that will carry you pretty far but other than that that's pretty much all i've really done this is one of my first like self-found playthroughs so i'm having a lot of fun with it um and yeah i hope you guys are enjoying yourselves as well anyway let me know what you guys think um let me know how you guys are enjoying the uh current what race is this again flashback event uh, in the comments below. But anyway, I'm out. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, and if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash fox. Have a good one, everybody.